everyone welcome to my channel today I thought I would share my June ipsy review and um, also discuss why I decided to quit ipsy so I like the bag it's really cute um, the first product I'm going to review is going to be the Mark Anthony frizz silicone leave-in conditioner now the first thing I'm going to show you is on the directions if I can get it to focus. Can't get it to focus on it. Let's see. There we go. Oh, maybe. Okay. Anyways, it's not focusing on it, but it says spray onto wet or damp hair. It says spray. This is the type of lid it comes in. Ew. It oozed on me. Anyways, so it says spray. Spray. So I don't know how you're supposed to spray it. Anyways, conditioner. My hair is weird. Like it needs conditioner, but I can't use conditioner because it will look super oily within a couple of hours or by the end of the day. So I um, asked my mom to check it and she said that and she said that um it smells good i mean you know it doesn't smell bad and she just used a little bit of the product in her hair and she said that it was okay not as good as the other stuff that she uses um from like walmart or i think she uses the aussie leave-in conditioner i could be wrong yeah. or the yeah. yeah so um also whenever she went to go wash her hair the next day it was super super slimy so it was from the conditioner um so i wasn't really impressed with that and then um the nail polish which i will picture here right now the thing i liked about that was the lid could uh, you pull it off and then you unscrew it um, I didn't like the color, so, um, one of, uh, my daughter's friends tried it out, and she said that it went on perfectly, it did not chip, chip easily, um, it was a color they were actually looking for for a while, so I was able to help them out there. Um, if it had been a prettier color, I would have kept it, but I just didn't like the color, it looked like foundation or concealer to me. Um, sorry, my arm was getting tired. Um, and again, you'll have to excuse my appearance because I had surgery a couple weeks ago, but, um, the nail polish, it was okay, but it wasn't great. Um, I mean, it was good nail polish, just not the color. Now the next product is the lotion that I am picturing here. Now, I did not open it because if you took off the lid and it was still sealed, it was super strong fragrance. And it was so strong like your hands would even smell like it even though you don't have the lotion on. So, same friend tried it out and she said it went on really creamy and it made her skin feel really soft. But the fragrance does not die down for a long, long time. So, it's super strong fragrance. But she enjoyed the fragrance so we let her keep it. Um, now the next one is the Myel uh, Tinted Lip, I think I'm saying it correctly, in the Nectar, and I like it. It's a very creamy, uh, makes your lips feel really moist, and just gives a little bit of a tint. And the last product is the Ofra Highlighter in Covent Garden, and it's really, really pretty. Of course, I'm not wearing it because, you know, after you have surgery, you don't really feel like doing your makeup. I thought about it, and then 
I thought about it last night when I went to bed. And then this morning when I woke up, I'm like, nah, not going to do it. So it's just really, really pretty. Um, those basically were the only two products. This, the Ofra, and the Tinted Lips were the only products that I really liked out of this bag. Um, now, last bag, I think it was a makeup brush and another thing from Ofra or... Uh, no, I don't remember. There's like one or two products that I got from last bag that I liked. And now I only did, uh, Ipsy for four months, March, April, May, and June. Um, I liked most of the bags, the bags themselves. Okay. Um, now as far as the products go that came with it, I did not feel it was worth the money. I mean, if I'm going to spend $13 a month and only end up getting usually one product out of it that I like, then I just might as well just, you know, go to Ulta or Sephora or look online and order a $13 product. Um, I don't know if that's how much that cost or not because Ipsy has not share, sent with the cards that show what the products are, how much they are, anything like that. It just has different things on it. It's weird. It used to come with, like, my March one, it came with what the products were. And then after that, that was it. Um, so, I decided, you know, March, April, and May, I got a liquid liner every month. And then, like I said, I only, I only got a product, maybe one, maybe two products that I liked out of each month. Uh, March and April, I did do add-ons, and then I did do a pop sale, I think at the end of March or in April. Um, it was a $5 duo pop flash sale, pop-up flash sale or whatever you want to call it, and I did get products from that that I liked, but at the same time, it's not to me worth the 13 or 12 or $13 a month just to be disappointed and have a product that you like. Um, so that is the reason why I decided to stop Ipsy. So this is the last Ipsy review, at least for now, unless I see things change. Um, but right now I'm not going to do it. Um, I am looking to do maybe another subscription box. I just don't know which one to do. Um, looking at a couple different book ones but as far as makeup ones i'm not sure i've seen birch box i've seen um boxy charm um i've seen that target and walmart both have their own i just i'm not sure i'm not sure which one i want to do or if i want to do another beauty one i am open to try new beauty products and stuff but i just i would really like the product to be worth the value. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this review. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. God bless. And if you like this video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe.